Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another tutorial on how to ETH. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get Matic tokens and Ether tokens on a Polygon network account so that you can save a lot of money on gas fees when you're trying to do transactions. Now there's basically two main ways that you can get assets onto Polygon from Ethereum so that you can save that money on those gas fees. The first is by bridging and the second is just by using a centralized exchange if you're using something like Coinbase or Binance, whatever, to send it directly to yourself but making sure that you send it on the Polygon network. Like I said, the first option is to bridge your assets directly. And there's different apps that you can use to do this. Polygon actually has their own native bridge, which you can use, but then there's other third-party bridges, for example, like Hop, where you can send Ether tokens or Matic tokens from the Ethereum network to the Polygon network. However, I'm not gonna do that today, although I'll walk you through how it could be done, because you do have to pay a gas fee, a transaction fee, to use these bridges on the Ethereum mainnet. And sometimes that gas fee can be quite high, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid here. But just for argument's sake, let's say if I switch over to the Ethereum mainnet in my MetaMask account here, you can see that I have some ETH in this account. And if I wanted to bridge this ETH, to the Polygon or the Matic mainnet, I could use something like Hop to do that. So for example, I can select mainnet here and bridge to Polygon. And then it shows my balance right here. And let's say that I chose to uh, send 0. Oops, 0 0.01 ETH to Polygon. It's gonna show up as wrapped ETH to signify that it's no longer on the Ethereum mainnet and that it's now on the Polygon net. However, if I go through and try to do this transaction, MetaMask is gonna pop up and show me that there's actually gonna be pretty significant gas fees so that I'm gonna end up paying almost $30 to send you know, $17 worth of ETH. So I'm gonna reject that for now because it's not worth it. Maybe if I was trying to send a larger amount, then I could justify spending that to use a bridge. And it would be the same thing using the Polygon bridge or most other bridges. However, if I actually go through my centralized exchange, I'm gonna be able to fund my Polygon account on MetaMask for free because the exchange that I use has free transactions to withdraw crypto directly. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, how this works is pretty simple. You're gonna to have to check and make sure that whatever exchange you're using allows you to make withdrawals on the Polygon network. But if I switch over to the Matic mainnet, you can see currently that I have zero Matic and zero other assets in here. But if I copy my Ethereum address here and go over to the exchange that I wanna use, which here in Canada, I'm using Virgo CX as one of the exchanges, you can see that in my account here, I have some ETH, I have some Chainlink, and I have some Matic tokens. So I'm gonna to try to withdraw some Matic tokens to my address using the Polygon network. And when I hit withdraw here, you can see that I have the option to choose which network to withdraw from. And again, whatever exchange you're using is probably gonna give you the option to withdraw Matic either as an ERC20 token, which means that it's on Ethereum and you have to pay gas fees on the Ethereum layer one mainnet. Or if I select the Matic network, it's going to withdraw it for really minimal, minimal costs. So going through this process is pretty simple. I just copy paste the wallet address that I want to send these Matic tokens to. And again, important to highlight, it's the exact same set of letters and numbers as your Ethereum address for the Ethereum mainnet. But since I'm sending it on a different network, it's gonna show up on a different network in MetaMask and then I'll be able to use it and have much lower gas fees. So once I go through all this, I can hit confirm. It's gonna ask me to verify, which I'm gonna do off camera. And then we'll go back over to MetaMask to make sure that it actually shows up. Now, pro tip here, normally I would suggest sending a smaller transaction at first if you're planning on sending a large sum of money just to make sure that it works smoothly. And then once you have that confirmation, then you can send the rest the full amount because, you know, there's nothing worse than, for example, copy pasting the wrong address accidentally. You send a large sum of money to it and it can't be recovered. Okay, so my Matic tokens have come through and my balance has now been updated in MetaMask. And you can see if I toggle between the Matic mainnet and the Ethereum mainnet, it keeps my assets separate on the different networks. So I have some ETH on the Ethereum network and I have some Matic on the Matic network. But what if I want some ETH in the Matic account? Well, for that, it's basically the exact same process. I copy my wallet address which is the same as for the Ethereum network. I go back over to the exchange and then I hit withdraw some Ethereum and make sure that I'm withdrawing it on the Polygon network. And here you can see that I could also withdraw it to Avalanche, but 
not relevant right now. And you know, same stuff, copy paste my address and make sure that everything is correct. And then I can withdraw some ETH. So I'm gonna withdraw a small amount of ETH here and then hop back over to my MetaMask account. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, the transaction was confirmed, but I still don't see my Ether tokens here in my MetaMask account. Does that mean that I lost them? No. So actually what's happened is that the Ether tokens have been sent to this address. They're confirmed, it's safe on the blockchain. It's just not showing up in MetaMask because I haven't imported the Ether token yet. And so you can see down here, it says, don't see your tokens, import. Well, if I hit this button, I have the option to manually input the contract address and token symbol for what I'm looking for. And if I go to Polygon Scan, I can go to tokens and find the wrapped Ether token. And this is what I'm looking for right here. It's number one on the list. And if I click on this, it's gonna show me the contract address, the number of decimals uh, for this. So going back over to MetaMask, I could just copy paste these and put them in manually. Alternatively, if I don't feel like copy pasting these numbers, I can hit these three little dots right here and click add token to Web3 wallet. And then MetaMask is gonna pop up and say add suggested tokens, wrapped ETH. And again, the W stands for wrapped and that just means it signifies that it's on the Polygon network, not on the Ethereum mainnet. So if I click add token here, it should be good. And if I go back over to MetaMask, X out of this, yeah, there you go. You can see I have my 0 0.01 wrapped ETH in this account. And so yeah, now I'm basically all good to go. I can use my assets here to interact with the blockchain without having to pay those massive gas fees on the Ethereum mainnet, which is a huge advantage. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks so much for watching. And in future videos, I'll show you some of the stuff that you can actually do on the Polygon network as opposed to on the Ethereum network.